I'm making this video because there's nowhere on the internet to change out the bearings, or one bearing actually, out of this bell housing for a 290 bubble penter. The same goes for a 280 and 270. Now these are tools you're probably going to need. You're definitely going to need a good pair of snap ring pliers and these aren't it. <laughs> it was a pain in the butt. So anyway, you have the seal in the back part, which is the bigger one, which is, goes in this way. When I got this bell housing, it was upside down. So I had some concerns, popped it out, bearing was no good, even though the bell housing was in beautiful shape, like almost new. This is the inner seal on the offside inside, which comes, everything comes out the back end. You have two snap rings, okay? These two snap rings, one is right here, below the dot, should be on top of the seal, and the other one is on top of the bearing. This is your pivot shaft right here. There's the bearing. Didn't sound too good. This just slides in, and that's it. All right, so let me show you. Inside, that's what it looks like. Okay, this shaft you grease up really, really good marine grease only. You put that in, but only after you put the seal in. This seal goes straight in, okay, this way, straight down, flat side forward, flat side forward, all the way down. Then you put your pivot shaft on your your drive shaft then this seal go uh, then the snap ring goes on after you put that uh, that shaft in then the seal goes down into it flat side facing up okay this is the way it was that's wrong and then you put the last snap ring in and you're done there is no grease fittings on a 290 Okay, on a 290 bell housing, this is the 14 inch bell housing, there is no fitting for it whatsoever for uh, Zerk fitting for grease. Now on this bearing, okay, there's a sealed bearing you can get. Any good bearing place will match it up and that's what you want. You want a sealed bearing, not this. A sealed bearing will last you a very much, <laughs> excuse me, a, a much, much longer than that bearing it is a pain in the butt to get these out but you work them out and you'll be fine don't try and chisel in here okay because you're not going to get the seal out easy the best way if you see two holes here all i did is use two screws and i put them in and i pushed it out and that's how i pulled it out you're getting new seals and new bearings anyway when you buy the kit it comes with all of this with the bearing if you buy the kit okay but again, you can go to a good bearing place and get the exact same one, same numbers, same snap rings, sealed bearing for like one third the price. And it's the same exact stuff. And that's about it. This is for a 290 bell housing. I hope you enjoyed this video because like I said, online, there's nothing online for this bell housing at all. I was going mental trying to figure it out. And uh, that's it. Happy boating. Have fun.